Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So here are three more hairstyles that you can do with braiding hair that are pretty quick and easy to do. Alright, so for this first one, you're going to section off a piece on where you want to braid. And you're going to grab some of your braiding hair and add a little bit of like edge control on it to make sure it stays. And you're just going to start braiding it now. I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. I'm not like the best braider and I know it doesn't come out as perfect as it can. Um, but you get the idea, you know. <laughs> if you're not much of a braider, you can also do twists. That's fine as well. You'll see why later. Now here I'm just dividing the hair that's going to go between the next braid I'm going to make. So I'm just going to pin that back so it doesn't get in the way of me braiding the next piece that I'm just going to repeat and do again. Once you have your little braids done or your little twists done, here you're just going to add some hair jewelry. Now this is optional but I think it just adds a very different cute little touch to it and that kind of just tucks in whatever imperfections you might have made next is time to start laying everything down so i'm going to grab a little bit of my eco styler and dip it with the um the comb and then i'm going to grab a brush and start just brushing everything down and pulling it back into a ponytail Once you got that pushed back, I'm just going to start laying my edges. Now you can do this whichever way you like. This is just how I do mine, so you can just watch the next clip. <laughs> but I also do have a video on how I lay my edges normally. If you just want to watch that, I got you. <laughs> and now for that long ponytail, I'm going to grab the connector line here, put it over the bun I just made, and I'm going to grab a piece off of that and just start wrapping it around my bun just to hide it. And voila! Now this next one is super easy to make and it's also meant to be a little messy. I saw this off of India Love's Instagram and I thought I'd recreate it because I thought it looked really cute. All you're going to need to do is just grab from both sides of your head a piece that you would like the braid to hang off of. And if you want, you can do like the middle part. She had the middle part. So I did the middle part and just start braiding down now. If your hair is long, you don't have to do this, but my hair is not that long. So I added the connect cologne braiding hair and I added some hair jewelry at the bottom just to decor because she had beads in hers. I added like the little hooks. Next, what you're going to do is grab your hair and pull it back into a ponytail. Now, I'm going to take the connect cologne hair and start braiding it into my real hair. What's going to happen is that my real hair is going to make up the third leg of the braid. If you guys watch my box braids video, you know I explained a little bit on how to do the braid, so I'll leave that linked somewhere on here. Now, for this look, I'm not going to braid it all the way down. I'm just going to do it halfway and then secure it with a little elastic. And then finally, I'm going to grab some of my Shea Moisture Cream just to smooth down a little bit to get rid of some of the flyaways. And that is it for this look. And lastly, it's jumbo braids now. Jumbo braids are literally exactly like the box braids video that I did, except that they're huge, they're bigger braids, so they're much, much quicker to do. So I didn't show the entire process because I feel like I would just be repeating an exact same video I already have on my channel. But just so you get the idea, all you're going to do is section off the hair, grab some edge control, add it onto the hair that you'll be braiding and your real hair, and then just start braiding it um, like you normally would. So again, make Making sure your real hair makes part of the third leg of the braid. Um, I'll just link the video somewhere on here so you can watch that because I do explain it just a little better on there. And in the end, when you have these cute jumbo braids, I think it's cute to add on like a little hat or a scarf, something on there. And it's a quick way to just protect your hair in this harsh winter wind. You can also undo half of the braid and kind of do this. So here's another way that you can rock these. But anyways, I hope you guys like these as much as I did. I'm always looking for different ways to kind of wear my hair. So yeah, let me know what you think. That's all for now and I will see you guys in my next video.